Good evening, good evening, Facebook family. We are live, live today with Dana Jarvis. It's all very exciting. We are just... Uh, Oh, it's going to be seen in the snap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hopefully, we'll cooperate. Come together and stuff. Oh, crazy. And um, I'm just going to introduce her today and uh, just put her, her new launch of uh, Girls Arising, a uh, country that God has entrusted to her season. She's going to share a little bit of her backstory, and uh, then we're going to minister to you on honey and uh, sister, the Mac and the Mac crew for you. One in the comments, let us know where you're jumping on. Uh, up and uh, I'm just waiting for a few stream yet so you can jump. Good morning, Paul. How are you? Back in Melbourne, Australia. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And uh, just uh, to a big team is that lit, lit the honey of both. Welcome, Dana. It's such a privilege and a joy. And in uh, your life at the minute, and uh, how God has raised you up with such a time as this at jail, you know, in the hand of God, and uh, just helping amazing forth and power in this hour to encounter King Jesus. We know God is spirit. He's male and female. And uh, God has entrusted you in this now season with, uh, and with, with blogging, etc. and you're stepping out of your comfort zone with these lives. Yeah. It's exciting. So welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you doing? Thank you. Kimberly, hello. So I'm going to hand over to Dana now. She's going to uh, say hello and she's going to shoot off into a teaching on honey and we're going to see what the Lord does. So go for it, Dana. Welcome. <laughs> I am very thankful to be here. I hope everybody can hear me okay. My computer on this end is acting really weird, so we pray over it that it'll go well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, just excited to what the Lord is doing in my life and ministry, as you all know, several changes actually has come up in the last little bit. Um, but I wanted to share a word with you about the honey of his healing. That's where we're going to tonight. Um, you know, the honey symbolizes so many different things, the abundance, the prosperity, the restoration, the healing of God. You know, it represents the word of God, which does all of those things. And, you know, the sweetness is used as a metaphor for delight. And, you know, he delights in us. He delights in providing that provision for his people, that healing for his people. Um, and he shared some things with me that I just wanted to share with you guys. You know, honey can open our spiritual eyes mm. and, and see things in the spirit because it says, but Jonathan heard not when his father charged the people with the oath. Wherefore, he put forth the end of the rod that was in his hand and dipped it in a honeycomb and put his hand to his mouth and his eyes were enlightened. He saw deeper into that spiritual realm. Um, also, it can add taste into your life. I really like that one. And the scripture he gave me, there was my son, eat thou honey because it is good. And the honeycomb, which is sweet to thy taste. And, you know, I keep thinking over and over, are you ready for the sweet stuff? The sweet stuff in your life is the things mm. that you're praying for, the things that you need God to break through on. Um, and every time you begin to concentrate that, you may, you know, that word of God, it, it makes you valuable and he can do absolutely anything that you're asking him to do because honey also serves as a sign of deliverance. And I really love yes. that. Part. Yeah. Uh, he gave me Exodus 3, 8 on that one. And I am come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians and to bring them up out of that land into a good land and a large into a land flowing with milk and honey. Mm. Mm. You know, it's taking you from the place of the enemy to your place of deliverance. Is basically mm -hmm. what that is speaking to you. Yeah. And yeah. it's our symbol of healing because it says pleasant words are as a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and health to the bones. Yes. You know, that's yes. what the word of God is. It is that healing balm that covers every wound in your heart, every scar, just whatever it is that's going on in your body, emotionally, physically, that brings health to your bones and healing to your soul. 
And I really like this one. Honey brings promotion because, you know, so many out there that's wondering, you know, when their time is coming. And he gave me Deuteronomy 32, 13. He made him ride on the high places of the earth that he mm. made the increase of the fields. And he made him to suck honey out of the rock and oil out of the flinty rock. So if he gives you a word, you hold on to that word because you've already been promoted. Yes. You know, you just got to hold on to it and not let go. You got to yeah. see it through. Um, yeah. And it's mm. got prophetic anointing. Mm. And I love that part because it does. The honey that flows from heaven has a prophetic anointing on it. John's food was wow. the word of God. And the same John had his raiment of camel's hair and a leather girdle about his loins and his meat was locusts and wild honey. Yeah. There's so many different scriptures about the honey when you actually begin to dig into that. Yeah. And it was just really awesome because, you know, so many people are in a bitter place and it's time for it to mm -hmm. be made better for them. Yeah. You know, peace for the pain, hope for the despair. Um, exactly. <laughs> you know, Jonathan and his armor bearer, they moved out in faith and God gave them a personal victory that turned that battle completely around. And yeah. All you have to do is reach out and take hold of what God has because, it, because it's in your reach. It is within yeah, your like reach. That. that honey is within the reach to take and to eat and to partake of it. Mm -hmm. It's right there before you because, you know, in the Bible, Jonathan walked right into the middle of a crowd and looking at the honey, he stuck his staff in and he began to eat of it because mm -hmm. that's what the Lord's asking tonight. What is it that you have need of? Are you ready to step in? Are you ready mm -hmm. to reach for it? You know, no matter what anybody else says, are you ready to reach for it? It's time to yeah. enjoy the blessings of God. Yeah. And don't let the devil, you know, keep you from it because the devil is a liar. Yeah. Woo. Exactly. And I mean, it's time to just let that honey flow. I have felt that all day. That one word is just <laughs> stuck in my mind all day. <laughs> <laughs> I know what it feels like to have that just come over your soul and just completely yeah. heal things. Yeah. You know, the scars that I had from the past, I have mm. seen that same honey of healing flow and heal it. Mm. And what he done for me, he could do for anybody. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I just feel the power of God. I just feel yeah. the power. <laughs> Yeah, it's, um, it's a beautiful word. It's a beautiful word. The honey, the honey is the sustenance yes. of heaven in this now season. And I've just uh, I've been mulling over that word and song of songs about the, the barren winter has, yes. has, has gone and it's now a new day dawning. And I really believe yes. this is a prophetic picture today for many on the feed here that God yes. is inviting you into intimacies, inviting you into fresh starts in this now season. And there's a divine exchange for hearts. Hearts that have lost hope, hearts that have uh, been in a sense where there's been a, 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 a pilfering and a theft in this now season, you're going to dance with hope. There's a sense of a double increase being released as a fresh anointing and power is here for you in this hour. Yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. especially for heart, sick, heart broken, sick mm -hmm. in the sense of dreams, desires, the things that God has spoken in past days, but it's almost like it's been out of reach God is saying to you this day, he's saying, I'm releasing it, just as you were saying about receiving that honey, that manna today. It's fresh word. It's fresh bread. It's a fresh drink. And I just, even uh, the last few weeks, for me, it's just been a sense of a bridal waltz. You know, I've just had such a sense of just like even the archway uh, going into the presence of God. And we see the arch of us covered in the beautiful um, the flowers and the fragrance and the just the, 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 the just the permeance of heaven and you even see butterflies quite often uh, in a bridal uh, scene etc just even like when you're making your the bridal bed is prepared and made and just I just yeah, this whole yeah. sense of just uh, the intimacy with the father that is being released afresh over hearts this day I really believe there's a fresh invitation this day for fresh starts Amen. And that the mm -hmm. honey of heaven is going to permeate into those parched, dry places, releasing a fresh start, releasing just a sense of new beginnings and a sense of, you know, there's a hope that hasn't been deferred, but there's a hope that's here. Absolutely. I really believe God is just clearing the way and he's made a way and he's making a way. So there's that sense where you can t taste and see the goodness of God in your <laughs> land. Mm -hmm. You're going to see the goodness of God in your land and you're going to see him yeah. in your hand. 
He's literally going to take, he's taking you by the hand and he's releasing to you yes. fresh land, fresh territory. Maybe that's metaphorical, maybe that's literal. But I believe for followers, listeners today, God is saying to you this day, saying, I've got an upgrade increase and more for you. My honey is here. It's yeah. time to receive. It's time to drink it in. It's time to, to come to that place of just understanding in the sense that God is reminding you that your barren winter is over. He's giving you double in the now season. This now season is upgrade, it's increase, and it's more. Your floor is going to be your ceiling, and you're going to fly into new realms and new heights of intimacy, and you're going to see just the sustenance, the substance, and then what you need in this now season, which is going to be fresh seed for you, friend. Fresh seed, fresh job opportunities, fresh Absolutely. ministry connections, a fresh sense of just hope alive so that you can thrive. You're not going to feel like you've been in this winter wonderland or this winter, winter, wintery season where it's almost like in Narnia, you know, where the white witch was there and she'd covered and she'd, she'd taken away all the, the glory was underneath all of that snow, et cetera. And that's a prophetic picture in this now season where we're going to see just the power of God coming through and releasing yeah. the body of Christ into all things new. And we're going to see just the cloak which has been there being removed. And we're going to see just the sense of the, the, the river, the tsunami of the power and the love of God permeating through. And there's this beautiful divine feast, this wedding feast, this sense of intimacy that is budding blossoms everywhere. Just reading out of Song of Songs and the Passion, the bridegroom king, it says here, Arise, my darling, hurry, my darling, come away with me. I have come as you have asked to draw you to my heart and lead you out. For now is the time, my beautiful one. The season has changed. The bondage of your barren winter has ended and the season of hiding is over and gone. The season of hiding, friends, is over and gone. I tell you what, friend, many of you are being risen up for such a time as this. You're coming out of caves. You're coming out of closets. You're coming out of a sense of hiddenness into a sense, a season of being seen. The king is seen. The queen is seen. You're being released now as his king and as his queen into the good things that he has for you. The rains have soaked the earth and left it bright with blossoming flowers. The season for singing and pruning the vines has arrived. I hear the cooing of doves in our land, filling the air with songs yeah. to awaken you and guide you forth. Can you not discern yeah. this new day of destiny breaking forth around you? The early signs of my purposes and plans are bursting forth. The budding vines of new life are now blooming everywhere. The fragrance of their flowers whispers. There is change in the air. Arise, my love, my beautiful companion, and run with me to the higher place. For now is the time to arise and come away with me. For you are my dove hidden in the split open rock. Yes. And that's the honey that's here for you today from yes. heaven. Yes. Yes. Isn't it done? Tell us more. Tell yes. us more about yes. the open rock, which is you. Tell us, Dana, tell us, what is the Lord releasing today? I just feel like the Lord is releasing that honey of his healing for those that need a healing. And, you know, perhaps you're just in a weary place, a broken place, and he just wants to give you beauty for those ashes. You know, it's been that long winter, but it's time for the spring to come. There's a change that's beginning to flow, a change in the atmosphere. And just like somebody commented, a change in the air. That's the perfect Example right there. There is a change in the air. And it's time for his people to break through and to eat the good of the land, to taste and see that the Lord is good. And, you know, he's just, he's wanting to heal those broken hearts. He's wanting to, the honey of his healing and deliverance. Yeah. It's what he wants to release in this hour because so yeah. many are bound up with so many different things. And they need that release in their lives. Or perhaps their family needs that release in their lives. Mm -hmm. Whatever mm -hmm. it is, physical, emotional. You know, a lot of times the sickness is in the mind. The battlefield is in the mind. Mm -hmm. And so many need freed from that battle in their minds. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he's taking you to that place flowing with milk and honey. He's taking yeah. you to that place of healing, a place mm. away from the, where the enemy had you into the place where he wants you. Mm. And that's that's what he's doing. I feel that so very strongly in my spirit. Mm. Mm. Just, yeah, a new level is upon us. You know, I just, I yeah. feel that. I do feel that. I get excited. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, bring it. 
<laughs> Ever since Dana has been on with me backstage this morning, we've just been just giggling like a couple of schoolgirls. And that is you it. know, the joy of the Lord, the joy of the Lord is your strength, friend. Yes. And uh, joy is is a gift from God. You know, righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. It we've is. received yes. joy as our portion. With joy, you shall draw waters from the wells of salvation. No matter the warfare, the difficulties, the challenges that you face. Joy yes. is your portion this day. And it says you just rest in his love as you lean back in the loving arms of your father. That is when you can lean into the slipstream and you come into that river of honey of just healing and flow as you go, etc. And the joy, nothing can detach to you when you're covered in the joy. That's it. Yes. Very light. It's just light. It it's, <laughs> it's light. It's light. It's free. And, uh, you know, it can seem, you know, it can seem quite yeah. offensive. <laughs> to the natural mind when you're just there's this strength which comes out of you though so don't be ashamed of the gospel friend there's power in the gospel the gospel is so incredibly simple yes. it is so disarming that a little child can get it and can taste and see and and eat from that tree of life where there isn't strife so just i release joy bucket loads of joy joy which is going to refresh you this day joy which is going to draw you into intimacy joy which is going to open up supernatural doors for you joy which is going to rejuvenate your skin it's going to rejuvenate your heart it's going to rejuvenate your mind joy which is going to come and bring your triune being your spirit soul and body into kingdom alignment I tell you what, the friend, the joy of the Lord is your strength. And with joy, you shall draw water from the wells of salvation. And just as yes. the Lord says in Jeremiah, I have plans to prosper you and not bring you harm. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in him. So, Father, yes. I just decree fresh joy over your children this day. I pray yes. that you would just come and meet them in the middle of the mess and the muck and the depression and the oppression, that the oppression would flee in Jesus' mighty name. Heaven's decree is victory over your finances, over your health, over your emotional health, over the sense of not enough this day that you would taste and you would see the honey of heaven being released as God is retrieving for you in this hour of power. For he says to you this day, he says, I have plans to prosper you. My rainbow of colors surrounds you, friend. I just see over you, Esther. Uh, uh, sorry, um, Esme, God's tasting, uh, the, the tasting of the goodness of the Lord in your land. You're going to see just the rainbow of colors surrounding you. You're going to see fresh dimensions of light in this now season. As God is saying to you, I've got plans to prosper you, plans to give you a, a future and a hope. You're going to taste, you're going to see the goodness of God in your land, Esme. God is all over your situation and your circumstance. And in this now season with joy, you shall draw waters from the wells of salvation. Good morning. How are you today, Christine? It's so good to see you. God bless you. God bless you. It's great to see yeah. you there. Hi, Tega. How are you today? How are you in, in lovely Norway? Have you got some snow happening today? It's very sunny here in Western Australia. I'm not too sure what it's like for you, Dana, where you are it's in Richmond. It's today, thankfully. There's no snow. <laughs> no snow. Oh, good. So you're not shoveling snow. That's fabulous. No. <laughs> right. <laughs> It can be a lot of work shoveling snow. It sounds like a winter wonderland, but it can be a lot of a lot of work shoveling snow. It so, is. Father, we just release that fresh honey today. I really believe that for me, uh, listening today, you are going to see the goodness of God in your hand, not just in your land where your feet shall tread, Amen. but in your hand. You are going to see double portion provision in this now season financially where there's been disparity. You are going to see a financial release over you to give you the ability, the capacity to give you what you need to feed your family, to give you the rest that you need so you're not having to work overtime, etc. I really believe there's a, a wisdom coming upon many of you in this now season where you're going to have a lot more rest amid the test. You know, you might be up against the wall. There might be challenges facing you and surrounding you, but I really believe God's wisdom is going to be upon you and there's going to be a super on your natural that you're going to be able to have the time to rest and relax and just a sense of there's not going to be a sense of not enough. It's going to go from a sense of not enough to double in this now season as the anointing, the honey is coming where there's been uh, theft and robbery over your finances, where your time has been robbed. Mm -hmm. You felt a sense that you haven't been able to sow your treasure or your, your treasure in, your, in terms of your talent. You haven't been able to give your time to kingdom purposes. You felt so run around and distracted by the, the weariness and the voices of this world and just challenges and difficulties that you face through opposition through through challenges etc i really believe in this now season that god is giving many of you double in this now season double for your trouble and it's going to be a release of seed so you can eat and you can rest but you're going to see a super on your natural 
It's not going to be, is there enough this month? It's going to be a double portion this month. I really believe God is wanting to encourage and strengthen many of you in this now season so that you can zone in and hone in on what's important to you in this now season. What has God called you to? So you can focus on kingdom purposes. God is healing up the wounds of the past. I feel the anointing on my head. Just where there's been a sense of not enough, where there's been a sense of a, a, such a, a distraction and a delay almost, where you feel like delay has won the day. Delay hasn't won the day because time is eternal. and Time and eternity are in God's hands, friend. And even yeah. though you may feel like you've gone through a season of hiddenness and a season of barrenness and a season where the winters have come and hard and it's been a sense of oppression and the depression has tried to shut you down, in this now season there's a bursting forth. There's a bursting forth of new blooms. The honey of heaven is here. God is healing up the parched places. Yeah. You're going to see just the drying out of the snows and the rains are dry, the driving rains where there's been a barrenness. You're going to see there's a fresh flow. The honey of heaven is here so you can go because God is releasing you a double in this now season. There's a super yeah. on this natural in this now season. Doors are opening up for you so that you can move forward with a sense of fresh hope where you're going to have a sustenance on your heart and on your body and on your mind so that you can move into the purposes that God has for you in this now season, friends. So God is working all those things together for good. Don't look back and hark yes. back to the old and, and rest and rely on those experiences or dumb down the truth of the word to your negative experiences. I tell you, friend, faith has positioned you for breakthrough. And I tell you what, in this now season, you're going to see by grace, those mercy kisses of grace on your face have released you into the from the barren season of winter, from that sense of not enough, from that sense of delay and distraction and derailment. You're going to come into now a season of fresh budding and fresh flow as you go. You're going to taste, you're going to see the sustenance, the joy is going to strengthen you of the Lord, and you're going to move forward in purpose and power in this hour as we've got into the roaring 20s in 2021. Over to you, Dana. I just, you know, for each one here, I just feel it so very strongly on my spirit, especially for, I think it's Esme, praying for your mom. Like I said, the honey of that healing is here, and I just pray for her arm to be healed and to feel that healing flowing through her arm right now. There is a physical healing that is taking place, and I just, I feel that so very strongly. The honey of his healing is flowing. The healing and deliverance is really what he had me focused on. So whatever it is that you need deliverance from, whatever it is you need healing from, he is healing your mind. He is healing that body. He is healing your spirit, because sometimes our spirit gets to where it just feels so dry and it feels like it's so weary but I, I just decree a portion of strength on each and every one watching this broadcast just a new strength to begin to well up inside of you and just a determination like you've never had before and that weariness to flee in the mighty name of Jesus because the devil does not have any authority. He is under your feet and he has took you into a place, but the Lord is taking you out to a place that is flowing with the honey of his healing, the honey of his deliverance. And I just pray over each one right now, just a joy, like you said, a joy to begin to spring up from that weariness, a strength to begin to spring up and just to take you into that place from the bitter to the better, from the pain to the power. And that's that's where he wants to take you from tonight. I feel that so very strongly. And each and every one of you, I pray that you enter into that new level that God has because there is a new level that is beginning to descend on us. And all we have to do is reach out and take it. Be like John. Step in and take hold of the honey. Are you ready for the sweet stuff? And I just yeah. decree that sweet stuff upon each and every one of you. And that sweet stuff is your restoration. It yeah. is the healing. It is the deliverance, the prosperity, the promotion. Whatever it is that you're praying for, that is what the honey symbolizes. And it's yeah. just time for you to step in and take hold of that. It's within your very reach. You just have to yeah. reach out and take a hold of it. All yeah. You just have to take hold of and hold on with all of your might. Hallelujah. Yeah. Don't let the devil tell you otherwise. Because the Lord, I keep hearing that over and over. The Lord is taking you out from where the yeah. devil had you into a place flowing with his honey, the honey of that yeah. healing power, that restorative power. There's there's restoration that's needed by somebody and I'm not sure who you are, but there's somebody watching that needs it. Mm. 
And that honey, I just decree it to flow over your situation right now. Mm-hmm. There's healing. I decree that to flow right mm-hmm. now from the very throne of God. Let that honey, that mm-hmm. healing balm heal some hearts right now. There's there's wounds. There's gashes across the mm-hmm. heart. Yeah. that has been inflicted by the closest people to you. Mm-hmm. God is applying that healing balm right yeah. now to some hearts. Yeah. And just reach out and just receive it. Just receive it right now. What the Lord has for you. What the Father is bringing to you tonight. Just receive it. Jesus. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, I just see there's been where there's been a breach, where there's been a breach, someone out there, there's been a breach, there's been a breach in the wall, or there's been a breach. And I really believe God is reaching out to you today and He's meeting you in that breach, whatever yes. that breach is. Uh, I don't know what the breach has happened to you, but God is reaching out to you today and He's meeting you in the middle and uh, He's restoring hope. And uh, some of you have been blindsided. You've been blindsided by the work of the enemy as the enemy has come in and yes. blindsided you. But in this now season, God is releasing honey and he's restoring you. And he's restoring you back to that sense of innocence and that sense of just gentleness in the sense of there's going to be that that bitter, that bitter, that anger that was there because of the, the wounding that's been released. Now, as healing is coming as you just let it go, just lay it down at the cross. There isn't going to be a sense of understanding yeah. the why, but the who is the honey. Oh King Jesus God. is going to meet you in the middle. And the honey is going to heal that breach where there's been a yeah. breach. And you're going to find that you're going to eat something sweet this day. You're no longer going to be going over, mulling over in your mind, going over in repetitive memory and thought and patterns where you feel that sense of injustice, you're going to be able to lay it down this day and you're going to see just the honey of heaven flowing as you pay, P-E-Y, pay E-Y, P-E-Y. God sits on the mercy seat and mercy triumphs over judgment. And so I really believe God is actually giving you an an enabling power today to let go of the injustice, to let go of that incredible breach which has caused you to uh, much pain. Some of you, it's been like almost decades of, uh, and and, um, a disparity financially you've carried a very heavy burden but God is saying to you this day saying you can lay your burdens down at my feet I'm now giving you something sweet I've seen you in the breach I've been with you and I've met you in the middle and I'm now here taking you out and restoring to you and giving you treble I really believe it's double and treble some of you have been on the back row you feel like you've been on on the backside of a hill you feel like you've been out on the wayside for decades you feel like you've been overlooked you feel like your season of barrenness has gone on for for decades but in this now season god is saying i'm raising you up and i'm releasing you and out into double for your trouble where there's been a breach you're now going to see me reaching out and releasing fresh honey over you you're going to have the capacity to let go and let god and I really believe in this last season where there's been heartbreak, where there's been a wounding, where there's been a sense that you felt stuck, the honey of heaven is going to seep through and you're going to see yourself literally just yes. the goodness is releasing you. The slipstream of his goodness is releasing you from the shackles yes. which held you in a mindset and a bondage where you felt, look, I don't know how to get out of this pattern. I don't know how to get out of this cycle. Mm-hmm. I don't know how to move forward. You know, and it's almost like the condemnation has come upon you like a sticky muck, which has come and descended over you. And it's put a blanket, which has kept you in a noose almost. But God says it's juice. My honey is here today to release you into all things new. It's a new day. The barren winter's over, friend. I tell you what, friend, he's met you in the breach. He's met you in the middle middle of the muck and the mess and the injustice. And he says, mercy kisses of grace are upon your face. I've released you. I'm moving you. Going forth in power in this hour, and I see you like on a bicycle now. You got the wheels are going, the tires are pumped up, and you're moving forward. You're coming off that sense of being on a tightrope where you felt like there's been a squeeze and there hasn't been an ease. You're now coming into an open in an open place you're going to be able to move forward power in this hour in a tandem it's like a, a tandem bike you're not on your own bike you're not riding your own bike jesus is uh, riding on the front and you're there on the back <laughs> like a child yes. with your <laughs> so, you in breach today god has met you in the middle and he says to you, my you, my honey is over you and i'm releasing my anointing my anointing to release you into all things new in this now season you're going to come into yes. a momentum 
I see the spokes on the wheel are moving. I see there's just there's this bicycle. It's it's moving fast. It's belting down the back of that that yes. side car. I see you now just squealing with delight. I see you just feeling the sense of the sun shining on you, seeing sunflowers in the field. I see you coming out now into new all things new and just and just having that sense of childlike wonder, that childlike awe, yeah. and just being free from the condemnation, free from the shackles, free yeah. from the sense of the breach which has held you. My peace is your portion this day, says the King of glory. My peace is upon you. Peace be Amen. still to the storm. Yes. Peace be still to the storm raging within you. In this now season, my peace is sustaining you. My peace is your sustenance. My peace is your substance. And it's with peace that you shall go forth in this house. This house shall be a house of glory. And this house is the temple of who you are. You're walking one in the sun. And you're released now from that breach in this now season. Yes. The Heaven has met you in the middle. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Jesus. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> and for some that may feel like you're on the backside of that desert, life is beginning to spring up in that place. And, you know, it's like your mind, the anxiety, the depression, there's been a lot that seems like they're covered with a cloud of that. But the Lord is beginning to give you that power, that love, that sound mind yeah. to enter into this next season. Yeah. You know, it's not only time for the sons to rise up, but the daughters are beginning to rise up. Yeah. You know, from the north, south, east, west. And then just I just pray that fresh fire over each and every one of you to rise mm -hmm. up and just that healing to flow from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Because I hear the word excel. It's going to cause you to excel. It's going to cause you to rise up. There's an acceleration in the spirit. And he is yeah. doing all things new. And there is some suddenlies mm -hmm. that will begin to take place. There's some situations that I declare a turnaround in that you've been waiting so long for you know he bottles up your tears yeah but he's going to he's going to pour them back out in such a mighty yeah. way. hallelujah yeah. and your healing is coming whatever it is that you need perhaps it's not just for you but it's for a family member a child whatever it is that healing bomb is flowing tonight i can feel it literally all over me even as I sit here and minister, and I just pray over each one watching tonight that you feel that honey flowing over you, that honey of his healing and deliverance and prosperity and promotion and restoration, all of those things and so much more because he is so much more. He is the alpha, the omega, the first and the last. And what he says he's going to do, it will set forth to accomplish what he says. His words will not return to him void. It will not. <laughs> Jesus. 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 Oh, absolutely. I had that this morning. Ooh, Jesus. Um, the tears, the tears, the bottled up tears. And uh, I tell you what, is those bottled up tears, I tell you, there's honey being released now over your heart and over your mind. I just praying yes. for your for your son, Kelly, your son who's been struggling yes. with and depression. Father, we thank you that he, he's yes. one in you, one in the sun. Yes. Father, we declare over the Holy Son that he would come into the right line with the sense of purpose yes. and hope. Yes. Father, we pray, Father, that you would come and just uh, encounter him yes. in the most unique way yes. this night. Father, that he would divine encounters with angels in the night, that he would have divine encounters with angels as he's out and about. Yes. yes. Presence upon him, which would be quite quirky and unique, which would spin him right out. But it's going to spin him around so that he can actually look up and out. Looking up and out. We decree that his, your son, Carly, will look up and out of the mire and the yes. way that surrounds him. That he would look up and out because something quirky is going to happen to him where an angel of the Lord is going to minister to him and it's going to turn his sight up and out. And, Father, I thank you, Lord, that this depression yes. be brought that spirit is a wicked lie. It is a lie from the pit. It does not belong to you. It is not attached to him. We detach it. We take it off in the name of Jesus. And we decree in, as heaven sees, which is victory. He has the mind of Christ. We thank you. He's not double-minded. We thank you, Father, that your son, your son Kelly, is as, as one in the sun. He has the mind of Christ. And so we just release those shackles. We release those, those tentacles which are trying to yeah. attack themselves. Uh, to your son and, 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 and come with a diagnosis and all the rest of it. We just speak right now the peace and the confidence and the honey of heaven 
over your son. Something quirky is going to happen to your son and it's going to turn him and it's going to focus his attention and he's going to have a divine encounter, a divine encounter of the third kind. Of <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Realm, then we have you know the, 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 heavenly realm, the natural realm that you know he's going to have an encounter in the heavenly realm but god yes. is going to open him up his eyes are going to hear his ears are going to hear and his eyes are going to see supernaturally and that depression shall flee in jesus name god bless you Karen. Yeah. absolutely <laughs> Woo. And on Esme, praying for the firstborn granddaughter, two years old and murdered. I pray right now for that justice to come forth, that exposure to come forth. He is a God of justice. He is a God of righteousness. And he shall bring that forth. Mm, Hallelujah. Yeah. I believe that right now he shall bring it forth. Yeah. Nothing has escaped his sight. And he is at work. Even when you may not think or you may not see it in any situation, he is at work behind the scenes. He is walking into the scene of that situation. And when he walks into the room, everything changes. Everything, everything changes. shifts. Mm. And it's right now that he's walking into the room where each of you are right now and just, just reach out and touch the hem of his garment for whatever it is you have need of. Mm. Hallelujah. You continue to press your way through. He has mm. seen you cry in the middle of the night. He has heard you cry and he is coming to wipe those tears and to cause mm -hmm. a healing to begin. That healing yeah. has begun. Yeah. I'm, I, in hearts and minds right now, that yeah. healing has begun. Mm. Hallelujah. No more in that barren place shall he leave you. And there again, that pops back up in my mind from the bitter to the better. He's making those bitter waters sweet. Jesus. And from Jesus. the pain to the power, you are stepping in from the pain to the power, the glory going behind the veil, mm. behind the veil. Mm. That's where he wants to take us to in that intimate mm. place. Mm. Behind Jesus. 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 And for my dear friend right here, Lisa Marie, I'm praying for her husband. And all of you pray for her husband. She's declaring that restoration. She's waited for three years. And I believe that that breakthrough is up on her. And we are declaring that breakthrough to come forth speedily yeah. and suddenly. Because mm -hmm. when two are you know, brought together, they shall not be put asunder. The, no mm -hmm. devil out of hell. No devil out of hell has authority over this marriage. And I believe that the healing, the honey of that restoration is going to begin to flow for that marriage. In the mighty name of Jesus. We come into agreement with you that it mm. shall be done because when we come into that agreement as touching anything mm. Mm. it yep. shall be done yep amen amen amen, amen. Yeah, just praying. I just had a, a sense of just, you know, where others of you have come up against the spirit of death. Some of you have had to, uh, you know, bury grandchildren and children, etc. You know, there's been a lot of um, prison uh, in your family or prison history, etc. I understand that. I've had a sibling in prison. Uh, I understand, uh, you know, the, the trauma and the tragedy that goes, uh, you know, when you're dealing with those kind of uh, realities in, in certain people's lives. And so I have a real heart for, for prison ministry. And I really believe that, that there's, there's others out here today who are listening online here who have got situations and circumstances which seem impossible. They seem impossible. You've been into the mental ward. You've been into the, the hospital, the mental health the locked key behind the door, and you, you've been told by the doctors and you've been told by the psychiatrists that this individual, this family member, is never going to heal. They're never going to recover. They're never going to be restored. Well, all I'm here to say as a testimony, I've got a family member who's totally been delivered and set free okay. after 23 years of, of institutions and prisons, et cetera, and just being restored to the family and being able to have wholesome interactions, et cetera. And so I want to encourage you to stay free. God is the God of breakthrough. He won't be mocked. And the, the, the righteous prayers that, that avail much of a, of a mother, of a father, of a sister, as we've prayed before the Spirit of God, as we've reminded the Lord decade in and decade out, we've seen the deliverance of our family member. And so I yes. want to decree over you, those of you who have got family members in prison, you've walked through much disparity, much difficulty. There's been a lot of shame attached to that pain. 
I decree the honey of heaven over you today, that you'd be able to minister something sweet out of the carcass of your past, that you'd set many captives free yeah. in this now season, yeah. that the prison sh the shackles and the shame of that 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 situation, uh, maybe it's a murder charge, maybe you've got you have murdered someone or you've been in a, a situation like that and you've done time. I decree that the, the, the honey of heaven would be over you this day, that you would see yourself set yeah. free in Jesus' mighty name, that you'd come into intimacy, that God God has paid for you at the place of Calvary. You know, it is finished at the cross. It, it is, is finished. Yes. It was enough. The blood covenant cut was yes. enough. You are enough in Christ Jesus, the hope of glory. And he's saying, be free from the shackles of shame. Shame is being released off you this day. There is no shame in my name. I tell you what, if we go back to the Garden of Eden, you know, when, when Adam saw Eve and he was well pleased, there was a sense of acceptance. And then, of course, we lost yes. that as we, we were set out of the garden. And then we, you know, we're, we're tilling by the tool of our hand, etc. And childbirth, it was difficult as all the rest of it. But we're now in Christ as new creations. And so God has given us a new nature in Christ. The old has passed away. You're not trying to 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 to, to kill the sarks and beat it down with your belt, et cetera, and deal with the flesh and the spirit. It's literally aligning our minds to the mind of Christ. Say so, and no longer is it I, but it's Christ who lives in me. And I understand difficulties and distractions, et cetera, but we walk through through difficulty, disparity. We've had sin. We've had shackles of shame around us that cause suicide. They cause pain. They put us in a noose where we can't move forward. In this yeah. now season, I really believe God says, I'm releasing you from the shackles of shame. Suicide is not the answer. You are enough. You are made of tough stuff. And God has released you from that prison cell. He's released you from the prison of shame. He says you are accepted in my name. You walk in the tree of life. You can walk in the cool of the night and you can call upon my name. I tell you what, friend, he went to the place of the skull, the place of the tree, Golgotha, the place of identity. And I tell you what, he's taken that the whipping and he was, he was flogged for you. He was flogged for your shame. He was flogged for your pain. He was flogged for your sin. He was flogged for all the things that you've walked through and he says to you i've crowned you with my robe i've given you my my ring of signet of, of, of everlasting covenant ever you shall be in my presence one with me i've given you a, a crown of beauty for and for ashes and i've given you my robe of righteousness you're walking in oneness with me the blood covenant is enough friend the blood is enough and you can let it go shame be gone in jesus name you are accepted in the beloved. And I tell you what, the spirit of birth, the spirit of death is not going to take out your identity of your family. It's not going to carry on. You are a fresh start. And I tell you what, friend, God has heard those prayers. He's seen your heart. He's seen your tears. He's seen the trauma. He's seen it all. And he's healing up the wound. He's releasing his honey over you this day. Your family is coming into alignment. Your family members and your extended family are coming into alignment. You will not be defined by the shame of a religious spirit, a religious devil, which will try to shut you down and shut you up and put you in a noose. In this now season, God right. says, it's juice. It is a done deal. You walk in my name. There is no Amen. shame in my name. You can lay it all down at the cross. I tell you what, friend, you can come vulnerable and true. You come just as you are, running into That's his right. presence with his fullness of joy. He's releasing you now from that shame. And murder and death shall not have its decree over you. You walk in resurrection power in me. Lazarus arise, 11, 11, John 11, 11. We see Lazarus arise. You overcome yes. by the power of the blood of the lamb and the word of his testimony, friends. Let's read the word through the lens of truth this day. It's the word of his testimony because you're one in the son and now he's given you a testimony in him because he was put to the final test for you, friend. There is no shame in Jesus' name. A religious spirit is a fall without power. It's the counterfeit. It's like money and counterfeit money. A religious spirit is all about self-righteousness and works, what you can do to earn the goodness and the kindness and the mercy kisses of grace. You can't earn something. It's a free gift. You know, God is complete. He is whole. He doesn't need you or I, but he created you because he desired to have a relationship with you. That is your true identity, friend. So death has no, has no sting over you. The honey of heaven is all over you today. He's healing up the wounds of the past. He's healing up the shame. He's releasing you from the shackles of shame. And he says, freedom now. In Jesus' mighty name. It's for freedom that Christ has set you free. You can run free. You are free to be in this now season. And forever you mm. shall be in my presence as the King of glory because I have qualified you. He qualifies you, friends. You are enough. It is yes. time to 
run and have fun. And he will qualify you. The lamb that went down was slain before the foundation of the earth. He's now roaring over you as the lion of Judah. His praise is over you. His roar of victory is over you. And as you worship him in the spirit of truth by coming into alignment with what he says about you. That is when you're going to see the victory this day. The honey of heaven is permeating all over you, friend. Death has no decree over you. Murder has no decree over you. You are walking in victory. One in me, says the king of glory. So God bless you. God bless you. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That's what we do best is lie. <laughs> yeah. Glory, glory. Yeah. I do want to say that the devil cannot cross the bloodline. And I want you to get that within your spirit right now. Yeah. And I'm just pleading the blood over each and every one watching this broadcast, over every situation. He's bringing beauty for ashes. But just keep it within your spirit. It is finished. When he spoke those three words, it is finished. Yeah. The enemy cannot cross that bloodline. You are covered by the blood. You are covered wherever you go. There is angels assisting you on every hand. And right now, there's just I just want to just declare a peace right now because, I, like I said, I feel like so many has been under the weight of anxiety. It don't have that hold over you. And just let him set you free from that. Let his spirit just flow over you. I want each and every one of you just to take a deep breath in his spirit right now and just breathe him in right where you are. Just breathe him in because he is there in your midst, ready to move on whatever it is that you have. Whatever it is that you need from him, he is there. You know, I think of Lazarus. Lazarus got up and, and let the Lazarus in you or whatever that situation that looks dead and hopeless begin to prophesy to that situation. Tell it to get back up. Cause it to breathe again and let the Lazarus in you. If there's something in you that you're holding back, let that Lazarus in you come forth. He is calling forth that Lazarus in you to get back up. And it, it's not just about getting back up on the outside, but you got to get back up on the inside. So let everything in you rise back up. Jesus. You get knocked down seven times, you get up eight. I love that quote because mm -hmm. it is so true. And no matter how mm -hmm. many times the enemy may try to knock you down, you get back up. You look him square mm -hmm. in the face because yeah. you're going to deal that death blow to the enemy and his camp because that's who we are. Yeah. Hallelujah. That is who we are. And I just I declare that beauty flashes right now and the healing balm of his power to flow all through the night, wherever you're at, day, night. Just let it flow in this hour. And I just pray for the testimonies to come forth from this because I am believing that that honey has flowed from one end of this earth to the other. If you just reach out and take hold of it right now. Hallelujah. In Jesus name. Amen and amen. <laughs> amen. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, we're having church on here. <laughs> we're having church on earth. I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's put it like this. We're going into the glory. That's where we're going. Oh, we're absolutely. Here. That's where the power is. <laughs> That's where the goodness is, that's where the juice is. I just yeah. wanted to read out 2 Corinthians 5.21 there, going back to, you know, we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, the free gift. Um, you know, Jesus says here, for God made the only one who did not know sin to become sin for us so that we who did not know righteousness might become the righteousness of God through our union with him. And faith, friend, has positioned you for breakthrough. It's a supernatural force that lives in your heart. And it says mercy, kisses of grace, which have drawn you from the start, which have drawn you into intimacy so that you can see and so you can have the eye self to see and so your ears can be cleared out so you can hear, so you can receive the honey of heaven this day. And, friend, I want to encourage you, the mind of Christ is embedded in you. It lives in your spirit, your triune being, your spirit, soul, and body. I understand the distractions. I understand the frustrations. But, you know, when you turn your eyes back to the king, 
no matter the difficulties, the distractions, when you lose it, maybe you have a, an altercation with your spouse or maybe you, you growl at the child or you kick the dog, I don't know, whatever your situation is and you feel a sense of, oh, well, why did I do that? Don't go harking over those things. You just repent. You turn back to who does God say I am? Obviously, you apologise to the dog, you apologise to your spouse or whatever. Yes. To, you know, you're quick to humbly to apologise. Be quick. Be quick to be to be apologetic and that keeps you childlike in the sense of it keeps you very disarming and it keeps you very um, flowing in the anointing. It keeps you flowing yeah. in the juice because you're not then getting wrapped up in condemnation. The enemy, he, he will wrap up a truth within a lie. So this is a thing, you know, it's it's like, you know, you have the little birdie on one ear coming in, which is heaven's birdie, and you might have a little devil on this ear trying to come oh, in yeah. and wrap up a, a truth and, and a lie. And then, and then you bite into that and then you start to feed on that thing and then you end up with this condemnation on you. Then the glory, you don't sense, sense the glory that's on you. you. You feel a sense of not the, the momentum and your walk with the, in the spirit, hearing the voice of the Father, etc. You don't sense his mercy, kisses of grace on your face. But I want to encourage you this day, friend. God has positioned you for breakthrough because you've become in Christ in your union with him. You've received that seal. There's been a covenant cut for you. The gamut has gone down in the heavenly realm over you. It is finished. You are stamped and your name is in the book of life, in the Lamb's book of life. So you're one in the sun. You are seated in heavenly places and God says, come, yeah. shake off that dust. Shake off the lies. Dust is often, I want things on my hand, dust is often a metaphor of a <laughs> lie. We embrace a lie because we think it's a truth and then we get confusion and fog. Whenever there's fog and confusion, that is not God. God is not the author of confusion. And the confusion might be, you might think, oh, golly, it has to be, oh, I need to understand those three verses in that book and therefore if I get that clearly, that's not confusion. No, no, confusion's in your daily walk. God is in everything. He's in the details. You're washing the dishes, as Brother Lawrence said, the monk, you know, great little book, great little read. Um, or just, you know, as you're out in the car and you're just feeling a sense of fog and weariness trying to come upon you, as you come back to, I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, reminding yourself Metanoia, to turn from a sense of doubt and the fear and the foreboding, coming back to what God is saying about you as you remind yourself and you decree and declare over yourself the truth in love, you're going to start to see just the honey from above being released through you, which is going to give you the sustenance and keep you in that well-oiled machine. So some of you feel like you are having false starts or you start in terms of the kingdom purposes or whatever it is. Maybe it's family, maybe it's relationally, maybe you don't finish well. Because it's a sense of you get started but you don't have any momentum building up or you have roadblocks that come up in your mind or there's a sense of just not clearing your identity. I want to encourage you this day. This is a word from God. He's saying to you this day, I'm upgrading you. I'm accelerating you. I'm building momentum. There's an exponential curve coming for you and you're going to have the confidence, the courage and the clarity to step out with what I've placed in your hand in this hour of power. Yes. God is with you. He says, you are one in me. Your union is with me. You are one, you shall ever be with me. And he's leading you out into the highways and the byways, into new opportunities, divine alignments for divine assignment. I tell you what, there's fear and there's foreboding. It's a sense of, it's an illusion. In the past, I did have a hold over you because you're, but now you've grown. You're not green, you're growing. There's a sense of a ripening in your identity and you've got roots that go down into the word and the truth and your sustenance is coming from the river of juice, the river of life, the throne of the, the river of God. And I really believe that some of you in this now season, God is saying to you, do not hark back to what past experiences of fear were where you've confronted fear and it's paralyzed you. I understand I've had encounters, I've had a yes. demon, I had a demon in my bedroom manifested. I've, I've dealt that thing years ago. I, I, I've had encounters with an angel in the law with a sword in the in the in the bed. Yeah. I've had all sorts of supernatural encounters as I've encountered the glory realm, as I've seen God come through. And I tell you what, friend, there's more authority in your pinky finger than there is in, in any enemy that comes against you. But, you yeah. know, he comes around like a roaring lion. The devil prowls around like a roaring lion, seeing who he can devour. But that is why we have that power within us, jails arising. That is why we have the sword of the spirit. That yeah. is why we have the belt of truth, which is our buckler and the sandals of peace. Peace be still to the storm. And it says you exercise that authority. That is when you see those gutter rats and snakes dissipating and disappearing. And you start to see the sun shining and the and, and just the sense of you being having the confidence and the courage to move forward into the good things that God is calling you to. Because friend, God is wanting a partnership of trust where he's partnering with us. 
you know, he's not left you on the wayside of life where he's just doing things in a vacuum. You know, there, it's like human response is required for salvation. You know, we're not living in a universalism thing where, well, we're all just before the beginning of time, we're all saved and, we, you know, that's just nonsense because that's robot talk. God has not created robots. He's created human beings. Oh. He's made you with a fresh DNA, a uniqueness of nature. There's not one person on the face of this planet, friend, that has your DNA. He's mm. called you one in the sun and he's made you unique. He's put an imprint on you, fresh juice to flow through. And no one can touch the king and kiss him kiss him like you do. You have such authority in God to, yeah. to, to walk into what he has for you this day. And I really believe fear is broken off you. Faith has positioned you for breakthrough. And you are going to see the honey of heaven just on the run as you're having fun in this now season. So it's time to go for it. Yes. Bring for God. It's always going God's kingdom. So you can step out of the boat and you're not you're gonna float, you're not gonna drown. So God is with you and he's and he's favored you and he's given you his glory crown. So it's his favor frame which is gonna open doors for you as you move forward. Yes. So you have your your heart of yes and he's stabbed it with his amen. So be encouraged in that word today that you are you your union with the, with the son is one and cut because the father and the son they cut that covenant for you. It wasn't dependent on you. Yes, your human response is you received Jesus your newborn, you know, nature in you, which is what you can live out of releasing heaven on earth. But God is saying to you this day, he's saying it wasn't dependent on you, friend. So just shake the shackles of shame off you. Yes. It wasn't. God first loved the world that he gave his only son. Before the foundation of the world, Jesus was no, slain, the lamb that was slain. He had a reconciliation plan, friend. So don't work mm -hmm. yourself with condemnation anymore. It's over. It's done. You can come. Mm -hmm. Come and have fun in the presence of the king. You can dine. He's queen. Amen. How are you feeling, Donna? Do you want to wrap up, or do you want to do you want to go for a few more minutes? I'll just speak a few more words over everyone because I just I feel led to do that. But just remember yeah. this: greater is He that's in you than He that's in the world. Yeah. And you know, you just get back up again, and you just be filled with that bravery, that courage, that boldness, you know, because the line, they have those traits, the, the boldness, the courage. And remember that though the enemy roars like a lion, remember he is a lion that is on a leash. It is the lion of Judah that roars over you. It is the lion of Judah that is with you. Yeah. And he will always, always prevail in every situation. So wherever you're at, and whatever it is that you're going through, I believe that you're going to try just decree the sweet stuff in your life, whatever that is for yeah. you, and that it will just continue to flow even after this broadcast in the days ahead. Lord, just yeah. let it flow upon each and every one's head in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Well, it's been an absolute joy and a privilege just connecting yes. with you, Dana Jarvis. I'm so excited awesome. <laughs> about Dale's Arising and what God is doing in and through you. And, and I believe you've, you've signed a contract with Charisma this week writing. Well, yeah, they did offer me the contract. Like I said, I was trying to see if I could. I'm praying for the partners to help make it happen because there is a fee, of course, for their yes. marketing and their distribution. And yep. I need help, you know, with that. But God will provide. If he wants it, he will provide it. <laughs> yep. Amen. I will um link, I'll share this link over to your page, Dana, and to Jowls Arising. Anyone yeah. so into good soil into Dana's ministry? She's been writing faithfully for over 10, 10 years. How many years have you been writing and publishing for the Lord? The ministry started in 2015, is when yeah. he pulled me out into ministry. Yeah. <laughs> So I think Dana and I met on Spirit Fuel. We were both bloggers for Spirit Fuel, um, a wonderful platform. Also go and check that platform out. And, um, yes. yeah, we're writing weekly for them. Uh, back then, to, uh, sort of 2013 on, we've connected. And it's just been a joy seeing Dana, yeah. just her words going across the nations of the earth, touching millions of people. Yeah, amazing, amazing, <laughs> amazing anointed writer. And I'm just so pleased and so thrilled for you in this now season as you're just being able to, your words are being able to, well, the Lord's words, through you are able to yes. reach masses 
So it's a very, very exciting time. So if you want to sew into to Dana's um, seed, she's just setting up uh, with Charisma. She's got a fee that she needs to um, pay for them to put all that, um, you know, material together, et cetera. Obviously, the time that it takes time to do all this sort of stuff. So we can't do this without without seed, you know. So I'm going to um, put a link into your um, PayPal. In fact, Dana, can you put your PayPal in now, please, into the comments? And if anyone wants to go into Dana's uh, ministry, it's very, very good soil. But please do that. And if everyone puts a little bit in, then we can all help her and uh, she can get that sorted. And um, and then she'll be off on her way with charisma, which is very exciting in the coming days. So God bless you, everyone. It's a joy and a privilege to connect with you. I'm excited. The honey of heaven is permeating through you, body, soul, and spirit. And um, just excited to see just breakthrough upon you this day and uh, just fresh hope that is yeah. here, hope that's alive, the hope of glory in you, which is here to make you thrive in this now season. You're going from a season of survival to thriving in this now season. That is a word from God for you today. So we Amen. release a blessing of favour over you, upgrade and increase. We see Jesus increased in favour with God and with man. Yeah. That just as you come, you see him as the ram in the thicket for you. That is how you're going to increase in favour as you align with the truth, as you declare the truth. That's when the honey, the anointing flows on the truth and then we get to see its juice, the anointing being released in and around you for all the yes. good things that God has for you this day. So God bless you, friends. Let's have a great working day, a good evening. God down, God sleep and download in the night. And yes. uh, I look forward to touching base with you on a live again next week. We'll type some notes up for you today. And, and Dana's going to leave her PayPal link in the feed as well. Those of you who want to sow some seed as well today to help her along with Charisma Magazine, her new platform. God bless you, Dana. God bless you, friends. Bless you. Up now. And uh, I look forward to catching up with you all in due course too. Have a great weekend. God bless you now. Bye. God bless you. Bye.